Hey, Michael, DigitalTShirtShop.com. So, today's September 14th. Um, I have had, I'm just going to just be talk about one thing. Uh, I have had month over month now um, on my old Amazon account reoccurring charges from Amazon for products that have not sold. Now, this is something that I talked about way back at the beginning, how Amazon came to me and said, look, uh, you have all of these products you put on Amazon that are not selling or haven't sold within the last year. We're going to start charging if you don't start purging some of those products. Now, that's a little bit hard with t-shirts. I put a t-shirt on, I put on a size, I put on a color, and I have uh, or, or a style. So let's say I take one t-shirt style and I put it on in men's, women's, boys, girls, infants, toddlers, and boys and girls. That's a lot of different categories. And then all the sizes, six different women's sizes from extra small to 2XL, small, extra small, small, medium, large, extra XXL, six different sizes for women, five for uh, boys and girls, and five for men's, and five for infants, five for toddlers, well, ten for infants, ten for toddlers, <clears throat> doing boys and girls of each. So they show up in the different categories that Amazon has, of boys and girl categories. Every one of those line items, every one of them counts as a product on Amazon. Um, and so next thing you know, I've got like 250, well, I guess, and then I put it on how, however many colors of shirts I put. So what was that 10, 20, 30, 40 times... The number of colors that I do, if I do six different colors, you know, you're looking at nearly 250, <clears throat> excuse me, like 250 different lines of, of product options on a on an individual design. And even, let's say I sell a woman's medium. Well, I still have 250 <laughs> lines that didn't sell. Even if I sold 20 women's mediums, I still have all these other lines that I didn't sell anything of. So I've been thinking about that a lot over the last uh, month or two as, as uh, what Amazon has told me has kind of come to pass. So a while back they said, look, we're going to start charging you for every additional product that you have that isn't selling over a certain amount and... and or actually, it started with they're going to start charging me for every unit that I put on there more than a hundred thousand. So I had to pull back the number of SKUs I was selling, and and actually I never went below a hundred thousand. I was still like a hundred and ten, hundred twenty thousand. Oh, excuse me. And then they started saying, "Look, if you're not selling these items." then we're going to start charging you as well. And so I've started noticing over the different periods here lately that I've been getting these hi, big fees. Hey, dude. You want to say hi? Yeah, hi. Say, what's your name? Say, do you remember my name? Do you remember my name? <laughs> say, my name is? My name is. What's your name, dude? Daddy. No, I'm Daddy. What's your name? Daddy. Uh, Isaiah. Daddy. Anyhow, so I've started noticing these fees, you know, $100 this month, $200 the previous month. I don't need to be spending that money. And as I think about it, I think, you know, if the stuff's not selling, it's just going to do me better to purge it. So I've gone through and I've, uh, this morning, uh, I had gotten a full ca a full list from Amazon <laughs> and a spreadsheet. Oh, please don't do that, dude. No, 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 okay, everybody's impressed. Uh, we can make a separate video of you doing that, okay? Anyway, so I've gone and, and pulled out the items I wanted to keep and then gone and just deleted everything. And I'm going to go through and just re-upload different items. Actually, upload some new items. Uh, in addition to that, uh, some items that I wanted to keep, I pulled out different color options. So, for example, there's some Halloween products that I had on there. I, I just left two color options yeah. instead of having more color options. Yeah. And some Christmas ones, I left two color options instead of five or six color options, whatever I had on them. 
Beep. You know, all of that in hopes that, uh, you know, I can just kind of restructure all of it, Beep. reduce the number of fees that I'm getting, uh, keep some of my more core products on there that I want to be selling on that site, and then turn around and I'll focus on the other stuff with something else. So, anyways, but that's kind of what I've been doing, and um, that's where we're at. So, uh, we'll see how that works, you know, as far as things go. So, uh, didn't take, you know, I mean, you do it in a spreadsheet, doesn't take too much time. It actually did take, you know, a half hour, hour so for it to process for me to be able to see that it actually went through. Um, <clears throat> but hopefully it helps. I'll minimize those fees I'm getting and it'll kind of narrow down uh, what I've got on that site that I'm offering. So. Okay, dude, it's time to say goodbye. Can you say goodbye? Bye, B. And then say, don't forget to subscribe. Can you say that? Where's the subscribe button at? Point to it. No, it's actually down here. No, no, no. Point. So you can see your picture point, your finger pointing. You're going to point right down here. Point. Do your pointer finger. Point right down there and say, don't forget to subscribe right down. You're not curling your other fingers, dude. Right down there. Right there. Okay, you did it. So, go bye-bye. Okay, can you push the stop button right there?